Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Jesse with Loader Real Estate Group at eXp Realty and I'm here with another weekly real estate tip for you. So today I want to talk about a question that I get asked uh, often uh, by home buyers. It's how many homes should I be looking at before making a decision? You know, quite often we're going through the home, <clears throat> the home shopping process and you know, inevitably at some point they kind of ask me, so are we you know, are we similar to other clients? Are we, are we looking at way too many? Like, are you sick of us yet? Or, or things like that, right? And, and look, no, is the short answer. Like, there, there is no, um, you know, sweet spot of, of homes that you should be looking at. It, it, there's so many different factors involved. Are you in a buyer's market, a seller's market? What's your inventory like? What, what style of home are you looking for? And are those prevalent in the market that you're in? Like, there's so many different home factors right now. Um, so. To really to have one answer is is virtually impossible. Here's what I will tell you though, is that you know there, there's a point of diminishing returns, I think, with, with looking at with looking at homes. So in the greater Edmonton area right now, there is a massive amount of inventory. We all know this. Most of it, not most of it, a very large chunk of it is is newer style homes. Okay, these are your suburb communities, these are your 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 two-story homes with front attached garages. There's a lot of them for sale. And and it, uh, same with the surrounding communities as well, like Leduc and Beaumont and Sherwood Park, St. Albert, Spruce Grove, wherever. There's a lot of them for sale. So you can look and look and look and look and look. And look, quite frankly, a lot of them are very, very similar. So at the end of the day, you know, you can sort of get overwhelmed and looking at too many homes can actually have a bit of a negative impact on your home buying experience. So um, what my suggestion would be is to really try and narrow it down on on paper online first okay so if you really do want to back onto a green space don't go look at a bunch of stuff that's not on a green space if you absolutely cannot find anything that backs onto a green space that is suitable then you start kind of backing down from there so really try and narrow it down on paper or online first so that you don't kind of get that shopping uh, fatigue okay now on the flip side sometimes i take out people and the first time that we go out, they, they want to buy a house because they just fall in love and they get freaked out, right? Oh my God, we need to look at more. We need to look at more. We just started, right? Again, what, what, what I tell people is, you'll know. It's going to be really obvious when you walk into a house and it's the one you will know, whether that's house one, house five or house 30, whatever it is, you will know. So listen to that, okay? Um, so sometimes it can be a little bit of a right place, right time, and you can end up finding something right away. Okay, so don't get too freaked out by that. That's just the way it is. You will know when you found the right house. Okay, so short answer, there's no magical number. I think the US, they came up with a stat. This was about 18 months ago or so that I read this, that the average home buyer looks at eight properties. Um, I, I just don't think that's suitable in our market. I think you do need to look at more than eight these days. There's so much to choose from. You do want to make sure that you're you're making the right decision. It is a large decision after all. Um, but that's kind of some numbers that came out just, just to go off of. But like I said, that's it's very different from marketplace to marketplace. And even within every individual market, depending on what type of house you're looking for, it can vary greatly. So uh, don't worry. Do what you what makes you feel comfortable. Okay, make sure that you're working with an agent that's going to allow you the space that you need in order to uh, to find the home of your dreams. All right. So again, my name is Jesse Loader. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you again next week. Cheers.